Welcome everyone to a session on Automata Theory and Computability. In this lecture video, let's learn how to simplify a given context-free grammar. Okay, so when it when I when I say about simplification, what I need to do is I need to remove the unproductive and unreachable rules from my rule set. Okay, the, uh, that is that is uh, used in the context-free grammar. So I need to apply two algorithms in order. First is I I have to remove the unproductive rules. Okay, remove unproductive rules. So what is an unproductive and productive rules? So any rules if if it cannot be evaluated to a, a terminal, then it becomes unproductive rule. Okay. So if if I have a non-terminal, it's which cannot be uh, completely removed uh, during my derivation then such kind of non terminals are unproductive and any rule that involves such a non unproductive non terminal should be removed okay so remove unproductive rule second one is remove unreachable rule so what do you mean by unreachable rule see if if i have a non terminal which cannot be reached from my uh, starting non terminal then such kind of rules are of no use right it cannot be it cannot be reached from my start uh, starting non terminal so uh, such kind of rules becomes unreachable and it should be removed from my grammar right okay so now let us see the first step remove unproductive rules the output of which should be given to the second step that is remove unreachable rule okay okay so what is a productive uh, yeah so if i have a rule something like this x gives alpha okay now if everything on the right side that is every uh, everything on the right side of this rule if alpha the entire alpha is productive then x automatically becomes productive okay so if alpha is productive then x automatically becomes productive okay and initially i have to mark only the terminals and uh, epsilon as productive okay so initially all the non terminals are marked as unproductive okay so i have to perform multiple passes to obtain the final answer right okay so pass 0 let me write this as pass 0 and this can be represented in a different way what i will be doing is i'll be categorizing categorizing this um productive and unproductive non terminal uh, symbols in two in a in a form of a table okay in two columns okay unproductive and initially what i need to do is i have to mark all the non terminals appearing in my rules as productive okay so small letter a is productive then small letter b is productive and finally i have one more uh, productive terminal that is c small letter c and also epsilon can be marked as productive so so that makes all the non non terminals s a b c and d as unproductive okay so this will be the initial uh, value so which is represented as pass zero so this will be the initial categorization right okay now what i need to do is i need to scan the entire rule set uh, and look for a rules of this kind that is x gives alpha where the alpha is productive such that i can mark x as productive okay so let us see each rule one by one yes gives ab yes obviously is unproductive now and a and b are unproductive right so this will remain as unproductive yes will remain as unproductive and the other rule is i have s gives a a right see this uh, if i consider this as alpha then of course a small a is productive but it is concatenated or it is uh, um, present along with prefixed with 
a non terminal a right which is currently marked as unproductive so s will remain as unproductive after scanning this rule 1 right okay let me see the second one okay so in second one a gives a so a as we know is a productive uh, symbol is a terminal so obviously a uh, this is in the form of x gives alpha right where uh, the enter the the symbols appearing on the right side is productive so i can mark x as pr productive so uh, what uh, this makes a as productive right so a will be marked as productive but we are yet to uh, yet to make these changes after um, doing one entire pass right okay and here the other rules is this uh, here i have an unproductive symbol so this will remain as unproductive this rule will remain unproductive right then b gives sigma uh, so b gives epsilon so this makes b as productive right the same uh, concept is applied here x gives alpha then c gives capital c small letter c right so this means uh, i have only one uh, productive symbol here but it is um, uh, prefix it with the non terminal that is unproductive currently marked as unproductive so c will remain as unproductive now right okay what about d so d gives a b small letter a followed by small letter b which are which are productive as per the current uh, value or the initial value and d also gives epsilon so d becomes productive right so this will be the value after pass 1 okay so what i will do is i'll make the changes here itself okay so this will be the value after pass 1 so what do i have along with a b c and sigma uh, which are the non terminal that made into the productive category that is nothing but a and a b and d right okay so i will remove a from the unproductive category b also i'll remove and d also i'll remove okay and it should be added to the productive category right so a will come here b as well as d okay so what are the unproductive rules after the pass one so this will be the new category right so that was the initial value and after pass one this will be the new value right now what i need to do now I, I have to apply pass 2 that is one more pass i have to do so this uh, this iteration will be continued um, if the content of my table that is the category if it if it is equal to the previous pass value okay so if there is no change uh, whenever i don't have find uh, any alteration with respect to my tables from uh, the previous pass to the next one then i have to stop Okay. since there was a change after uh, making pass 1 from the initial value i have to continue this iteration okay now i will go with pass 2 okay so uh, with pass 2 um, yeah again we have to scan from the beginning right okay so this is pass 2 i'll highlight it in blue color so s gives a b right now the change here is a is marked as productive and capital uh, the capital a and capital b are marked as productive so obviously s yes will also become productive right and this is also productive so s yes will become productive this is already marked as productive yeah this rule is unproductive no changes here right and c gives c s yes, will remain as unproductive right it will remain as unproductive and this is already marked as productive so in pass 2 what changes we get the changes what we what we observe is s will be moved from unproductive to productive list or productive category right okay so i will put s here okay so using the comma i'll put s here okay so this will be the content after pass 2 right okay now there now there is a change with respect to the values of unproductive and productive 
contents from the previous pass right so what i have to do i have to repeat this iteration okay so now i have to go with pass 3 okay so with the third pass what do i get i get um, i have to check again from the beginning so this is already marked as productive no changes here uh, this is also marked as a is productive b is productive yeah c will remain in third pass also it will remain as unproductive because it cannot be um, evaluated or it cannot be changed to any terminal right okay so this will remain as unproductive and d is obviously productive okay so this will be the content of uh, the productive and unproductive category after pass 3 now if you observe the content of these two category is unchanged with respect to the previous pass right so when i when i get uh, uh, that condition when the content doesn't change from the previous pass to the next pass then i have to stop my iteration and whatever that is um, present in the productive category will be considered as productive symbols and whatever that is present in the un unproductive category will be uh, will be seen as unproductive symbols and any rules any rules in my rule set that involves an unproductive symbol which is a non terminal should be removed okay it should be removed okay now if you observe i have c that is marked as unproductive right so what i have to do any rule in my uh, in my rule set that involves c should be totally removed okay so what changes i will get so after uh, performing this operation i'll get a new rule set which i'll write here on the right side so yes gives a b okay yes gives a b which i'll write as it is because all this is a, a productive rule and a is also productive right so which is the only unproductive symbol is c so any rule that has c should be removed a gives small letter a okay what about the other other symbol that is a c see this has c in it which is unproductive so what i need to do i need to i need to remove that right from my uh, simplified uh, from from the rule set that is simplified after removing the unproductive rules right okay b gives epsilon will remain as it is c gives cc should be removed and finally i have d gives ab or epsilon okay so this will be the answer intermediate answer of my simplified context free grammar after performing and removal of unproductive rules okay so this has to be given so whatever i got here is the solution after performing removal of unproductive rules algorithm right so this has to be given as input to the next uh, uh, next step next algorithm that is remove unreachable rule so this will be the input for the next one okay now let's apply step 2 that is removal of unreachable rules so what is an unreachable rule a rule that involves an unreachable non terminal is considered as an unreachable rule and it should be removed from the rule set okay so what makes a, uh, any non terminal unreachable so if i have um, any any non terminal that cannot be reached from the starting non terminal then that non terminal should be considered as unreachable okay so here also we have to perform multiple iterations multiple passes to uh, check whether the non terminal is uh, reachable or non not reachable okay so what i have to do is i have to look for rule set of this form okay x gives so if x is reachable okay if x is reachable when i say reachable i am talking about reachability from the starting state okay if x is reachable then i should mark a as also reachable okay so a also becomes reachable so using this uh, idea i have to uh, look for non terminals that uh, that can be categorized as 
reachable error or unreachable okay okay so I, again I, I have to do multiple passes and uh, the starting uh, value I'll name it as pass 0 and I have to I need to have two categories one consisting of um, yeah uh, reachable reachable non-terminal symbols and the other is unreachable okay so in pass 0 what I will do is I will mark only the starting non-terminal as reachable so only S yes is marked as reachable and the remaining non-terminals uh, here we have A, B and D should be marked as unreachable okay so this will be the initial value now I will, uh, I will perform uh, the first pass okay so let me write this as pass 1 and what I will do is I will be looking for uh, rules of this type right okay so I have to scan each and every rules here so S queues A B right so S is marked as reachable so that makes that automatically makes A and B as reachable right right so everything on the right side every non terminal on the right side uh, of a reachable non terminal becomes reachable okay so initially a b is marked as unreachable but with this rule i can i can say that a or a and b also becomes reachable okay and this doesn't make sense because i have a terminal here this also and d will remain unreachable okay okay so after pass 1 what what did i get i get um, a b as the new reachable non terminals right okay so this will be the value after so i have to remove a and b from this category unreachable category and i have to put it in reachable category so this will be the value after pass 1 okay okay now um, very clearly the content uh, changed right the list changed the reachable and unreachable list changed with respect to the previous pass or with respect to the initial value so from pass 0 and pass 1 I saw the changes so what I need to do I need to continue this until I uh, don't encounter the changes right with respect to the previous pass okay now I have to go with second pass so with second pass again I have to scan since I got A and B as a new reachable symbol I have to scan again okay so this will remain un the first rule remain unchanged this will remain as reachable and d will remain as unreachable only right so what i can do i can mark i mean i can keep d as unreachable okay so after pass 2 if you observe the content of pass 1 after pass 1 and after pass 2 the list will remain list has remained same right so what i can conclude i can conclude uh, that i have to stop the iteration and I can conclude that D is unreachable right and uh, D is an unreachable non-terminal so any rule that involves D uh, as a part of it should be removed right ok so D should be removed so after removing D I will get the simplified context free grammar ok now let us remove D from the um, from the answer what we got from step 1 ok yes after removing unreachable rules so this is the answer what I get right which is highlighted in blue okay so uh, this is our initial this is the initial problem that was given for simplification and after applying a removal of unproductive rule this is what I got intermediate solution and after step 2 that is removal of unreachable rule this is the answer what I get right so this is about simplification of the context free grammar okay I'll see you in the next one.